Okay, so this is another really quick screencast to show you um, how you can use uh, the Listen feature of uh, JS Console. So I start up a new listener um, and I get a brand new ID. I'm going to copy this and put it into JS Bin, which is just uh, uh, a place to do a bit of testing. So I insert a script tag, source equals um, HTTP jsconsole.com slash remote.js question mark and then the ID and that's all I need. So um, <clears throat> let's save that 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 page and just pop it into the uh, the browser. Let's open up a console as well. You see a console's there. If I do console.log hello world it says undefined, but it's actually gone over to the remote console. Now, I want to show you this same page in um, Mobile Safari. So, that's the iPhone simulator. Um, let's go to jsbin.com abi5. Okay, so um, even though there are two browsers currently open, the uh, it's just this browser that has access to that window. Um, if I recall correctly. So if we do um, document, in fact, actually you can see it here, iPhone Simulator has connected. So document.title, and we've got uh, some data there. You can see hello world. If I just double click and zoom into that, can I zoom into that? How do I do that? Okay, so that's a p tag. Let's do document.getElementById, and it's hello dot inner html and we have the html there if we set it to remy wrote this you can see it's actually updating um, uh, the iphone so really quick simple demo how you can connect any device um, the previous video i showed you the actual physical device but it works in um, android testing um, uh, web os very very shortly but it should work um, and um, give it a play Thank you very much for watching.